Father, cleanse these filthy hands. I long for brokenness for all my sin and Jesus said, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. No man knows the day or the hour, at a twinkling of an eye, the Lord might come back and will be caught up together. Those who know Jesus Christ as their Lord and God and Savior will be taken up, as the Bible calls, the rapture of the church. The Bible says to repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Bible says there's a way that seems right to a man, but in the end, it leads to death. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except by me. Jesus Christ is the only way, truth, and life. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. The only way, the only truth, and the only life is only found in one name. The name of Jesus. The name that is above every name. That name. It's the only name that saves souls, the name of Jesus Christ. There is power in the name of Jesus. Power in the blood of the cross. Your sins can be forgiven today. Your sins can be forgiven today. Your sins can be forgiven today. If we repent and turn to the gospel, your sins can be forgiven. There's no other way a man can be saved other than the through the name of Jesus Christ. He is the only way, truth, and life. You can't, there's no religion that can save you. There's no religious building that can save you. There's no religious ritual that can save you. It's the blood of the cross. Faith in the blood of the cross. The Bible says the way that seems right to a man, but in the end it leads to death. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father except through me. Jesus Christ, the only way, truth, and life. Jesus said, He is the light of the world. Anyone who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. He is the light of the world. The Bible says that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish, but has everlasting life. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believeth on Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus Christ, the name that is above every name. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. That is not human blood. That blood was the blood of God's own Son that He shed on that cross 2,000 years ago. And your sins and your idolatry, you got to turn from it. you got to turn from your idols, turn from your sins, and you turn to Christ and your sins can be forgiven. There is no other way a man can be saved. The Bible says, unless you are born again, you shall not see the kingdom of heaven. Going to, going to a church building cannot save you. Going to church on Easter or Christmas can't save you. You must be born again. John chapter 3. Jesus said, unless a man is born again, he shall not see the kingdom of heaven. Unless you are born again, you shall not see the kingdom of heaven. That's why we're calling you to repent, to turn from your ways and turn to God's ways. His ways are higher than your ways. His thoughts are higher than your thoughts. Jesus said the last days will be like the days of Noah. Men will be eating and drinking, given into marriage, but have no idea that the blood is coming. Until the blood swept away the whole earth. Except Noah and his family of eight. You know, Jesus said the last days will be like the days of Noah. 
There'll be debauchery, adultery, idolatry. Come on. And folks, we're no better than anybody here. We've just been saved. We've been saved by His blood. Paul said, let me show you more excellent ways. That's right. There is a more excellent way than the way that you know. I know we're in the Bible Belt. Everybody per probably heard of the name of Jesus, but you, the Bible says you must be born again. He wants to repent from our sins. God so loved the world. The Bible says that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believeth on Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. You know what everlasting life is? Is a life after this one. Eternal life. There's a second death that the Bible talks about in the book of Revelation. After you die, there's a second death where you stand before the throne of Almighty God. And anyone who turns from their sin and puts their faith in Christ, your sins can be forgiven. You can know that you're going home to your Father in Heaven. Hallelujah. The name that is above every name. The name of Jesus. The only name that has the power to save. The name of Jesus. The name that is above every other name. The name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. But we must come to Him. The hour is late. The Bible says there's a way that seems right to a man, but in the end it leads to death. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through Him. Jesus Christ, the only way, truth, and life, the, name that can, the only name that can save you. There's no other name under heaven that can save you other than the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father except through me. There's only one way. Jesus Christ. The only name that can save from separation from God, a place nor hell. The only name that can save you from the place of hell. Is what Jesus did on that cross 2,000 years ago. Your sins can be forgiven today. That empty void can be filled with His peace today. Jesus said, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, but my peace I give to you. Now if you're struggling with anxiety today, insomnia, depression, suicidal ideation, that's because we don't have peace. That peace that comes from God comes through Jesus alone. Do you have peace? Do you have peace with your Creator? Do you have peace today? Peace with your Creator. Peace in your home, peace in your family, peace in your in your marriages. Peace comes through a person. Peace doesn't come through a church building. You know the Bible says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world but lose his very soul? You know, all your all your your bank accounts, you can't take your bank account with you. You can buy your nice cars, your nice homes. The Bible says, what does it profit for a man to gain the whole world? You can gain the whole world and lose your soul. You know that? We can gain the whole world and lose our very soul. How precious is your soul to you? The human soul that God created. How precious is that soul? What does it profit for a man to gain the whole world and lose his very soul? Jesus came to die for your sins, that your soul can be saved, your spirit, you as a person can be saved through the blood of Jesus Christ. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world? You can have all the money, all the, all the money, all the women, all the riches, all the fame, and still lose your soul. What is your soul worth to you today? What's the price tag? What's the price tag for your soul? 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 The 
Christ is the blood of Jesus who paid with his own blood for your soul. That's how precious the human soul is. That there was a man called Jesus of Nazareth 2,000 years ago that died on that cross for your soul. The Bible says, what did the prophet for a man to gain the whole world and lose his very soul? How precious is your soul to you? What's the price tag? Ladies and gentlemen, what's the price tag for your soul? Would you, would you sell your soul to the devil? What's the price tag? What's the price tag for your soul, ladies and gentlemen? How much money is your soul worth? How much money is your soul worth? How much money is your soul worth? The blood of Jesus is the only price that was paid for your sin. Muhammad can't save you. Buddhism can't save you. Islam can't save you. The 300 million gods of Hinduism cannot save you. But Jesus Christ is the only name. The only name that can save you from your sin. The name of Jesus. We are unashamed of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. The only name that can save. The name of Jesus Christ. How much is your soul worth, ladies and gentlemen? How much is your soul worth? Give me a price. Give me a price. How much is your soul worth? What would you sell your soul for? Come on. How precious is the human soul? The Bible says, what does it profit for a man to gain the whole world and lose his very soul? The Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Everlasting life. Everlasting life, I don't know about you, but there's a life coming after this one. Eternal life. Eternal life is waiting for you. Your decision today. That your sins can be forgiven today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father except through me. There's only one name under heaven that is given to men. For men to be saved, the name of Yeshua, the Hebrew for Jesus, the name above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is the only Lord and God. Jesus still saves today. Saved my life at 19 years old from New York City. 19, I used to hate church. I hated religion. All my friends loved weed. I used to roll marijuana joints for people. But you know, let me tell you something. Nothing else can fill the void in your soul. No amount of drugs, alcohol, fornication, nothing can fill that empty space in your soul. There is nothing that can fill that empty space in your soul. <laughs> God, like only God's love can fill that empty void in your soul. You know, if you've been, if you've been hurt by church or religion, Jesus is not a religion, he's a person. He's not like us. If people have misrepresented Christianity to you, I just want to let you know Jesus is not human, even though he became a man. And he's different than us. He can heal you of every wound that you've gone through, every misrepresentation of Christianity, every negative experience, every wound that you've had in church, and you said, I'm never, I'm not trying this Jesus stuff, I'm not trying this. I gave up on God. But let me tell you, God has not given up on you. God has not given up on you. He's seeking you today. He's seeking the one lost sheep out here. Out here in the American Airlines arena, he's seeking, he's seeking out one lost sheep. And that could be you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. That could be you. One lost sheep that has wandered away. The Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father except through me. He is the only way, truth, and life. What's the price tag? What's the price tag for your soul? Give me a price, somebody. What would you sell your soul for? 
The Bible says that God, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his very soul? You know how precious your soul is? What's the price? What's the price? How much will you sell your soul for today? What would you sell your soul for today? The blood of Jesus has paid for your soul. Paid for the price of forgiveness for your soul. Your sins can be forgiven today. If you repent and place your faith in Christ, your sins can be forgiven today. There's nothing else that can fill that empty space, that empty void at the heart. Nothing else. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. There's a way that seems right to a man, but in the end it leads to death. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father except through me. The Bible says that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Jonathan Roberts can't save you, Michael Jordan can't save you, only Jesus can save you. The pale hot flesh. The Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. There's no other name under heaven given to men other than the name of Jesus. No other name. That name is a name above every name. That name provokes people. The name does something to people. The name of Jesus. Nobody else's name does anything. Like what the name of Jesus does to people. It's because there's power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Power over death. Jesus says he has the keys of Hades and of death. Let's go, bro. Jesus said, my peace I give to you. Jesus said, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives. You know, the world can offer you peace, but it's temporary. How many, how many shots do you need today? How many hits of that marijuana do you need to take to get that piece?
they follow God. And they give you a physical representation of God. Just know that He loves you. He died on the cross for all of your sins. Oh, no, 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 no,
Yeah, we're like, we're like, we're like, we're like, we're like, children of God, that you can say, I know God and have a relationship with him. But if you die rejecting the Son of God, you will be in hell. He gave you a promise. He said, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. 
He didn't come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Those who believe on the Son of God will be saved. And those who reject the Son of God, the wrath of God abides on you, and you will be in hell because you denied the Son of God. He said, and this is the condemnation, that lights come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Because people love their sin more than they love God. Because people love the Mavericks more than they love God. Because people love the Celtics and them. And basketball and all these other sports, they love their next meal more than they love God. They commit idolatry on Him every day. They commit adultery against the God who died for them in the flesh. But you can turn today and He will save you. He will wash you and cleanse you. It says, no one who calls on the name of the Lord will be put to shame. It says, taste and see that the Lord is good. That you can call out to him. You can say, Jesus, I don't know you, but I do believe you will. And he'll make me made manifest. He said, if you seek me, when you seek me with your own heart, you will find me. But there's only one way to God, Jesus Christ. You got everyone out here that's saying, yo, yo, I know God. I have a relationship with God. If you don't know Jesus, the Son of God, then you all rejected God himself. And the wrath of God abides on you. When he died on the cross for you, and he will come back and there will be an outpouring of God's wrath. And the only one that can save you is Christ himself. He can save you from the wrath of God that abides on you. Everyone's like, yo, God, if you're real, when's this person going to get their just due? Everyone's going to get what's coming to them at the end of the world when the judgment comes. And the same way you want God to judge others, he will judge you. Unless you put your faith in Christ, because he paid the penalty for your sins. That the cup of wrath that was supposed to be poured out on you was poured out on him. And the only way to avoid judgment is by putting your faith in Jesus Christ. And when you put your faith in him, he'll make you a new creation. All things are past, all things are made new. You'll be a better father, you'll be a better husband, you'll be a better man. But it's only Christ working in you. Today is the day of salvation. Today you can be saved. Today you can have hope and a purpose. But it's only in Christ Jesus. And if you deny him, you will be in hell for eternity. If you can imagine being tormented for a thousand years, being beaten, being raped for a thousand years, and it doesn't compare to the torment of hell. But you don't have to go. There's a way out. That's why they call him the way maker, the mighty pastor. Because Jesus Christ came into the flesh, God himself had died to make a way for you. That you can make it out. That he gave you an escape route. But we say, yo, God, I want to do it my way. But that's the same thing the Bible says that we live in pride. That all have gone their own way. They've all gone astray. Like the shepherd. But if you put your faith in Jesus today, you will be saved. He said, and like Moses raised up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. And he lifted up, all men will be drawn onto him. He already has victory. God had victory when he was crucified and he came out of the grave. Everyone wants to look at the Jesus on the cross. But there's a Jesus with flame and fire and white hair. He's going to come down and with the sword out of his mouth, he will slay all the unrighteous and rebellious. We'll say all evil doers, but you can be saying today, turn to the living God, the good God who died on the cross for you, the God who was victorious on the grave. Oh, yes, I believe. That he'll free you from sin and damnation and hell and everything you're going through. Everyone says they love Jesus, but you look at how they live and their life testifies against them. Put your faith in him today. He will save you. He's faithful, but we aren't. Everyone says, yo, I know God. I love Jesus. Does your life testify it? Or do you love your next meal more than Do you love the Mavericks? Do you love your comfort? Do you love your nice home and your car more than you love God? If he told you to give it up today, would you give it up? But we love him. He said, these people can profess me. These people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. You have a lot of Christians out here. People hate Christianity because Christians are hypocrites. But they're not real Christians. They don't know them. He said, many will say, Lord, Lord, and I'll say, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of the Depart from me, you workers of the world. They forget that in Psalms it says, God hates all evildoers. But he died to make a way for you. He'll wash you and cleanse you and clean you up. That you can turn to him and he'll fix everything that's broken. But we don't. We say, hey, my way's good enough. Yo, I'm a good enough person. My good deeds are good enough. 
but all your works are filthy rags in the eyes of God. He's righteous. He has a perfect standard, and all men have fell short of him. That you need a Savior because you sinned against a holy God, no matter how good you think you are. If you think you can walk into heaven on your own, you will be sent straight into the lake of fire. If you say, hey, I, I think I'm good enough, God, I'll send you to the lake of fire. There's only one reason people go to heaven. There's only one reason Christians go to heaven, and it's because they accept the blood of Jesus Christ who died for them on the cross. It's not because they're good people. It's not because they've done good works or they fed the homeless. It's only by the blood of the spotless lamb that was poured out for you. When people say, oh, Jesus is the only way, there has to be another way. No, he's the only way because he's the only one who lived the perfect life and died for you. He's the only one who lived the unselfish life. It was humble enough to come down in the flesh and die for you. But you say, hey, I don't have time for Jesus today. I'll give my life to him tomorrow. But you may die today. And you don't have any confidence in the salvation. You don't know if you take the last breath, where will you go? You don't know if you died right now, whether you will go to heaven or hell. But all you have to do is call on the name of Jesus Christ who died on the cross for you. And you can have assurance because he gave you a promise. There's one way to heaven. Jesus Christ, he said, I have the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except by me. Which means outside of him, there's no way. Outside of him, there's no life. And outside of him, there's no truth. Everyone wants to say, yo, I'm going to live my own truth. You don't have the truth. Jesus is the truth. He's the only way. Muhammad can't save you. Buddha can't save you. Allah can't save you. Saddam and Garfa can't save you. Krishna can't save you. Hinduism is you. Catholicism, none of them can save you because they say the same thing. That you're justified by your works. It's only by the blood of the Lamb that was poured out on the cross that you can be saved, that you can have a relationship with God. Do you know Him? We all say that, but did your life testify of it? When people look at you, when God looks at you, you can't lie to Him. He said, This is the condemnation that lights come into the world and men that have darkness rise right in life. Because they love their sin more than they love God. Because they love their dreams more than they love God dreams. Because they said they love Jesus, but they hate but they love what he hates. And he hates what they love. But then one way to heaven, Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except by me. No one can save you except for Jesus. Oh my God. God came manifest in the flesh. God got a cross. We all say we're Christian. But do we see it in our lives? There's one way. God said, For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, and whosoever should believe in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. That's a promise. For those who believe in the Son of God will not be condemned that you will be saved from hell and fire and the power of the grave. But if you don't believe in the Son of God, you are damned. Because you didn't believe in the only begotten Son of Christ. That He made a way for you and you didn't take it because you thought you were good enough. Because you didn't have time today. Because you had to go see a marriage day. There's one God and there's one way. If you can imagine, hell, if you can imagine being beaten for a thousand years, you can imagine your kids being raped and tormented for a thousand years and you making a choice because you deny God saying, I want to go to hell. No, I don't have time today. Maybe next week I'll give my life to Christ. You know what? You know, I just don't have time. You know, I have my work and my job. I have all this stuff that's passing away. It's the only thing that stays constant is God. The only thing that won't pass away is the Lord. And you, you believe in Him. And you accept the gift of eternal life because the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. He's the only way. He's the only one faithful to keep his promises. Society will tell you that social media, girls, drugs, money will save you. But you won't ever get any fulfillment and you'll be thrown into the lake of fire. But there is a God who died for you and loved you and showed his love. It says God showed his love for us and why we were still, why we were still sinners. Christ Jesus died for us so that we can be the righteousness of God. But we deny the only one who died for us, the only one who loved us. We say, yo, I love you, God, I love you, Jesus. But your life testifies against you. 
when you say, yo, I love the fornication more, I love the drugs more, I love the drunker more than I love God, and he died to set you free, that we listen to music that crucifies Christ every day, the same song that you love when you listen to Lil Baby, when you listen to Drake and Future, it's the same thing that nailed Christ to the cross. But you can turn today, you can say, hey, I want a real relationship with you. I don't want to live like this anymore. I want, I want hope in the future. It's only in Jesus Christ. It's not in being a good person. Your positivity can't save you. You can't be good enough to walk into heaven. A lot of times we do things and we think they're good. And you find out later they weren't a good thing. But if you put your faith in Christ today, He'll work in you. It says, work out your salvation in fear and trembling. For it's God who works within you. The will for his good works and his pleasure. But while you work it out, God is working inside you. It's all Jesus Christ. He's the only one that can do it. If you believe you can live this life on your own, you're mistaken. You'll find out soon. It's all about the power of Christ that you can be saved. It's only about the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. That you can have hope and you can have a future. He said, we love God to love everything else. He said, for God to love the world, he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever should believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. That you can have eternal life now. That you don't have to burn in hell for eternity. But you can turn to Jesus Christ. Because you can say, Jesus Christ. The Mavericks can't say, they can win and you'll burn in hell for eternity. But you can turn today and be saved and have salvation and have a hope and a purpose in Jesus Christ. But he's the only one that can give it to you. He says the homosexual born in earth, the king of God, drunk of alcoholics. But it says, come as you are and he'll wash you and cleanse you and give you a purpose and something to live for. It says it, it said, as were some of you, but you were washed and you were renewed by the Spirit of God. That you can be a new creation today, that you don't have to live in fear and hope. That you can have a promise from God, and He keeps His promises. The ages of sin is now, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. All your friends say they love you. Everyone tells you, yo, go do go do what makes you happy, but the stuff that makes you happy is killing you. And Jesus Christ died on the cross so that you can be brought from death to life. Without Christ, you are dead. You wonder why you can't find peace. Why you gotta go to the next drug? Why you gotta find the next girl? Why you gotta get the next high? Why it's always something else? You need something else. It's because you don't have anything to fulfill. You don't have a savior. Jesus Christ died on the cross so that you can know him and have fulfillment. But we go the way we say we want everything else. We say, yo, this time this will be it. Yo, this is gonna be the last time. After I do it this time, I'm gonna be good. You won't be. It's only by the death and acceptance of Jesus Christ that you can see the next to God and he'll give you eternal life. And eternal life is not when you die, you can have it here and now. But as he said, this is eternal life to know God and Christ Jesus who we have sin. That you can have a relationship with the living God that don't feel the void in your heart. That you've always been looking for something and you can't find it. And it stresses you out, you're like, I can't find it in anything. I don't know. What do I have to do? What do I have to do to be happy? Every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the Father of lights. He gives you what you need. Every good and perfect gift comes from Jesus Christ. And if you call on His name, you will be saved. He said, if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is the Lord. If it's in your heart, He died on the cross, you will be saved. He's the only one who doesn't lie to you. Jesus Christ, the faithful one. He lived the life. A perfect life, never sinning for you. He went to the cross willing for you. He could have called a legion of angels. He could have called 10,000 angels to come save him. But he said, no, I'm going to go to the cross because I love God. He said, for God so loved the world. Thank you, Jesus. Not just white people, but to all who believe. He came unto his own, 
and his own did not receive him, but to as many as who did receive him, he gave the privilege to become sons of God, that they all can become a son of God. They all can be washed and cleansed because God gave you a promise because he loved you. The only one that showed his love for you. He showed his love for you when he died on the cross. And we reject him every day. We say, yo, I love you, Jesus, but I love my fornication more than you. I love you, Jesus, but I love my grocery more than you. I love you, Jesus, but I love my drugs more than you. I love you, Jesus, but I love you. But you can tell us that you don't know you're going through. You're fix everything that's broken because Jesus Christ died for you. A lot of people don't read the Bible to themselves. They look at Christians and they say, Yo, I don't know if you're a guy. People say, the Christians live like this. Well, why don't you read the Bible and see what Jesus said for yourself? Why don't you go meet him? Because he said, if you seek me with your whole heart, you will find me. Because this God is not hiding for you. He said in Revelation 3.20, Behold, I stand as a door and knock. If any man hear my voice and invite me in, I'll come in and suck with him and him with me. We don't restore the relationship. Can we say, y'all, I wanted God. I was looking for him. No, you want him. He's not hidden. Jesus Christ is in hiding for you. You can go read the Bible any day and find him. You can go on his name if you humble yourself. Because the Bible says it. It says, God resists the proud, but shows more grace to the humble. When you finally decide to humble yourself under the hand of God, he will save you. When you say, no, God... Your way isn't good enough, he will save you. But it's only by your faith in Jesus Christ that you can enter heaven. You're not good enough. Why are you good enough to go to heaven? It's only by accepting the blood of the Lamb that was poured out on the cross for you. He said he came unto his own, and his own did not receive him. But to as many as you did, he gave the right to become sons of God. You can be a son of God today. Christ and he'll free you from your sin. He'll free you from yourself in the back of the grave. He'll say, tell him to me and give you a purpose. Because he came, he was crucified, buried, and he rose again, and he's been seated with God for 2,000 years, and all of history testifies to it. There's one way to heaven, Jesus Christ, and hell, he is a real and present threat. Everyone says, so next week I'll give my life to Christ, but you may die today. God forbid, but you got to be ready. And if you're saying, yo, I'm not ready, then you need to accept Jesus Christ today. You need to put your faith in Him. That you can be confident in where you're going because you will go to heaven or you will go to hell. And you will make a choice that God will save you. He said, no, Jesus, but our life says the opposite. You will not be sent to hell. He said, many will say, Lord, Lord, and I will say, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity, you workers of sin. He died for you to continue living in sin. He died for you to be free from sin. He died for you to have power over the grave and hell in your flesh. But we say we love God. We love Jesus. But we want to live in sin. We want to live like the world. We want to do what the world wants to do. He'll free you from it. That's why he died on the cross. Because you're saying you're going to cross the hell. Sorry. And there's only one who can save you. There's only one God who can wash you and deliver you. Living God, who came to your flesh. If you reject the Son of God, you will be in hell. Everyone says, yo, I got tomorrow, I got next week. You don't know. A thousand people die every minute. Someone dies every 24 seconds. But you made that Jesus Christ, because he loves you and he died for you on the cross. He's the only one that can save you. He gave you a promise. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. And who said it should be we all say we love them, but our actions show the opposite. We all say, yo, I grew up in church. I go to church on Sundays, you know. I was baptized when I was a baby. you got to make the choice to give your life to Christ. You have to make the choice to give up your life. You know, ask them, you know, say, when did you give up your life? Because he who seeks to find his life will lose it, and he who loses his life for my sake and the gospel will find it. So when did you give up your life? When you say you love him. Because love dictates an action. When you say so, love someone, you're going to act because you have a love for him, because you make the choice to do it.
If we say we love someone and our actions don't show it, we say I watch, but our actions show we want everything else except for God. The wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. There is one way to heaven. There's one road. He said, prepare the highway for the Lord. You think you'll get to heaven by being a good person? If you think, yo, I'll do it next week, you might not have next week. You might die today. Your heart may stop and you may have failure. And that's the real truth, truth, that there is hell, there is damnation in the grave. And the only thing that can save you from it is Jesus Christ who died on the cross for you. The only one who can save you is the Holy One of Israel who died who showed that he was God and proved that he said, I lay down my life and I take it up. And he got up from the grave. No one can disprove it. That's why Christianity is still around, because no one can disprove it. That Jesus is God and he loves you and he wants to give you a life and a hope and a future. And wearing a cross doesn't mean anything. you got to have it in you. That everyone says, yo, I love him. Look at my tattoo. I got him. you got to have it in you. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And there's one who can save you from hell, the living God who came into the flesh. So today is the day of salvation. He said, if you confess with your mouth, Jesus Christ, Lord, Christ brings all of that satisfaction more than that. You will be saved. That's true. The only one that can save you, Jesus Christ, God Himself. Like, oh, this is the enemy. The enemy is your mind. So 
The only thing that can free you from yourself is Jesus Christ. And he'll wash you and cleanse you and deliver you and create you a pure heart and a right spirit. under the hand of God, but he's the only one that can save you, he's the only one that can wash you, he's the only one that can free you from sin and the power of the grave. If you can turn to him today, today is the day of salvation, believe in Jesus Christ, then you can have confidence that you'll be in heaven, that you'll be seated next to God in heavenly places, but if you deny him, you will be in hell for eternity, that there's only one way. There's only one God who loves you enough to die for you. And we say, hey, my job, hey, my career, hey, this, hey, next week maybe I'll turn to Christ. But when you die, you will stand before God naked and alone. It'll be you and you alone, not you and your kids, not you and your job, not you and your friends, not you and your pastor. It'll be you and God. You will stand before God. You will answer to a holy God. And he'll ask you, what did you do with the life I gave you? What did you do with every breath I gave you? Did you waste it? Did you turn to my son? This life is a dress rehearsal for the next one. And a lot of people aren't going to make the cut. So why is the law of destruction and narrow the day to life? Have you found it? Have you found something worth living for? Jesus Christ, the only one who can save you. Do you know him? Do you believe in Jesus? He said, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is the Lord and believe in your heart, you raised from the dead, you will be saved. If you can have confidence in him, no other religion will tell you how to get to heaven. No other religion will give you assurance. They'll say, hey, you might make it, but Jesus Christ died so you can have confidence. Is your stand before God and he'll toss you in the lake of fire? Or you'll stand before God and he'll say, Did you acknowledge what my son did for you? Did you accept it by son, the son of God, and you'll be led into heaven? And you'll have joy and peace and happiness for your eternal for eternity. For we trade eternity for 20 years, for 80 years out here saying, Yo, God, I got to do it my way. I want to live how I want to live. I don't want to do what's in the Bible. I don't want to listen to you. I don't want to accept the Son of God. And you live away eternal life for 80 years. Your life is a vapor. It's here and it's gone. A lot of people say, I don't believe in God. But when you get shot, you're going to pray to him. You're going to call on his name. You're going to say, Jesus, what are you saying? Me? I need a miracle, man. My life's in shambles right now. I need a miracle. But we only look at him when things are bad. If you turn to him today, he will show himself to you. That's what we know the fact that we reject the Son of God every day. And he's the only way you can know God. If you don't know the Son, you don't have the Father. And if you reject the Son, you reject the Father. The light's coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. People wanted to keep doing whatever they were doing. They said, yo, I love my drugs. I go off saying it was instead of God. They confess they love Jesus with their lips, but their hearts far from them. They don't really know him. They got to run to everything else to find fulfillment because they don't know the living God. But you can have eternal life today. All you have to do is put your faith in Jesus Christ. All you have to do is believe in the Son of God and you died on his rocks. And he'll give you a new life. He'll show you a new way. He'll He's called the way he made the mighty council for a reason. Because there's nothing that you can't do. Right? You know, God, you can do that in the universe. You can realize the universe.